Welcome to our webinar. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We're excited to talk to you about how to keep your New Year's resolutions this year. We're going to give you our top five tips that you can implement into your life right away to see immediate results. We will be recording this and this is going to be available later as well. All right, so who are we? We are a team of Beachbody coaches from all over the United States and a couple in Canada. We all have our own story. As you can see from these pictures, um, we've had a lot of people lose um, a lot of weight. Um, the record on, on our team is 130 pound weight loss. So we've had some amazing success stories and it's been so much more than just the weight loss. Um, We've seen people gain confidence, have more energy, um, get off medications, and just feel overall better. So what is happening in America? As you can see from these charts, the statistics are getting worse. The trends of obese, obesity are getting higher and higher in America. These statistics were taken from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and you can see from 1985 to 2010, it's continually gotten worse and worse. On the right side in the chart, um, the red states and the orange states are the very worst. So in 1985, you didn't see any orange and red, and now in 2010, you're seeing a lot of that color, a lot of those colors. So by 2030, it's estimated that 86% of adults will be overweight, 51% will be obese, 30% of children will be overweight. Those statistics are startling and not, um, not good numbers. So we are going to give you our top five tips to help you keep your New Year's resolutions tonight. A lot of times we get our hopes up high and we set our New Year's resolutions um, really big at the beginning of the year, but by even mid-January at this point, our New Year's goals start sliding and we aren't reaching those goals and um, kind of sliding back into our old routines. And so then by, you know, the spring or so, those New Year's resolutions that we set off to, to keep have kind of slided back. So tonight we're going to help you to keep those New Year's resolutions and we're going to give you five tips on ways that you can keep them this year so that you can be successful and get and reach those goals that you set out to make in 2014. So I'd like to introduce our first guest. We're going to have tips from three different coaches tonight and our first guest comes to us live from Arizona. Her name is Trisha Neese. She'll go ahead and introduce herself and give us two tips. So I'll go ahead and unmute your line. Are you there, Trisha? Yes, can you hear me okay? Yes, great, go ahead. All right, great, great, thanks for having me. Okay, so hey everyone, um, what I'm gonna start with is just a little tidbit on me so you can know where um, I've come from. Um, basically, a few years back, I was overweight, I was with depression and I had severe migraines um, and just quite honestly I had a lack of energy that pretty much kept me from really living my life um, and honestly I really didn't think that there was a whole lot that I could do about it and so I really just kind of settled in and thought oh this is this is me this is how I'm gonna live my life um, and then I lost my dad to a heart attack and he was only 59 and it was at that point that I realized that I you know I had to make some sort of change in my life um, it just it, it didn't feel like there was a question anymore. I had to do something. Um, and so since then, um, I am happy to report that um, I have lost 40 pounds. I've lost 10 inches off of my waist, and I am the healthiest I've ever been in my entire life. Um, and, you know, I, I look back and I think, oh, you know, if I hadn't have changed, you know, I, I wouldn't be as happy as I am now, and I wouldn't feel as good as I am as I do now. So basically, you know, once out of shape in bad health, without confidence in my abilities to control my life, um, you know, I actually ended up surpassing my goals and even became a certified fitness instructor for one of the fitness programs in the industry. So the first things first is that if you are fearing that you can't get the results that you're looking for, I challenge you to look that fear in the face and say to yourself, and tell that fear that no, that you are going to reach your goals if, if you want to and that you can if you want to. 
So how do you get there? So what, what I like to start with is figuring out your why. Um, you know, most everyone has a weight loss or maintenance goal, uh, wants to get fit, wants to get toned, have more energy. You know, that's kind of the surface what we want. But if you dig a little bit deeper, there's usually a big or life-fulfilling reason that will surface. Um, you know, and it, it might be something that you never really even thought about until you, you know, kind of start digging. You know, some, some ideas that, you know, or some things that people have told me in the past, you know, um, you want to look good for your spouse, you want to be more active with your family and friends, maybe you're not able to get out and play in the park with your children. Um, maybe you have health concerns, you know, similar to mine, or seeing trends in your family that make you fear what might lie ahead for you, or that maybe there are even things in your uh, current health situation that keep you um, and limit you from doing things. Um, for instance, I had a friend who was actually turned away from going skydiving. She had always wanted to skydive, but she was quote unquote over the weight limit. And so they turned her away, you know, and that's just one of the most life crushing things that you can have happen to you where you're, you know, in this public situation where you're wanting to really fulfill one of your dreams and it gets crushed. And, you know, for something that, you know, we can make a change for. So, you know, the great thing is, is that since then she's lost 40 pounds. And she's going to be going to make that skydive soon. So, you know, it just shows you one more great, exa great example of being able to do what you want if you want it. You know, you can change your life. So once you know why you want to be healthy and fit, I really recommend seeing it where you can see it. You know, maybe it's a picture in your office. Um, maybe you write it out in your journal, something that you read on a daily basis. It really doesn't matter, just as long as it's something that will help you to keep it in sight, to keep the real reason of what it is that you are working towards, why you are working towards whatever health and fitness goals you have. Um, what this does is it keeps you um, going. Those times that you hit those road bumps or you feel like, oh, I want to quit or this is too hard or I can't do it. Um, maybe you even get to a point where you're questioning why you even started it in the first place because believe me, we all come across that at some point or later when you are on this journey. You know, I can't promise you that it'll be easy. You know, you, you will hit places where it's going to get hard. And your why, your real why, will keep you on track. And it won't let you quit because you want it. You know you want it and you know why you want it. So really, really good to do that to start out. Next, I really recommend that you find a workout that you love, something that's fun. And then also, this is, the, to me, a very important part, find something that fits into your schedule. There are so many ways out there to get healthy and fit. Not everything works for everyone. Um, you know, there are so many different things that you can try. So try different things until you find something that you love and that is actually working for you. If you're putting a lot of effort and not getting good results, you know, maybe your friend, you know, started running um, and they really got great results from that. And then you started doing that and not so much. So like, you know, you're just beating your body up and not getting to where you want. You know, everybody's different. So if you're pushing along and you're putting out the effort and you know you're putting out the effort, I mean, be honest with yourself, <laughs> um, you, it might be time for a change because not everything works for everybody. You know, and then in addition to that, kind of along the same lines, there's also really good research that suggests that you actually should change up your routine from time to time. Um, if you, um, one, interested, um, you know what I mean? Like when you switch things up, it really gives you that fire again. You're doing something new, something exciting. But it also keeps you from plateauing with your goals. So my thing is, is that leading a healthy lifestyle doesn't have to be um, overwhelming on your life. There are so many new forms of fitness that require less than 30 minutes a day and still get you great results. I mean, you know, for me, I don't have a lot of time. Um, I am, I have three businesses that I run. I volunteer for multiple nonprofits. And so finding time has always been an issue for me. So I know that I don't have time to get dressed, drive to the gym, go into the gym, work out in the gym. And then even when I'm at the gym, I'm not really sure what, what am I supposed to be doing here at the gym, you know, and then you turn the dress on. All that, that I know is not me. So being able to get in 30 minutes of working out for me personally in the comfort of my home is what I found works best for me. So you need to find something that fits within your schedule because, you know, what is it, no matter what our individual reasons are for wanting to be healthy and fit, they pretty much all work back around 
to wanting to live that healthy, happy, fulfilling life. Being consumed by our fitness routine isn't necessary, and it shouldn't become just some more thing that gets in the way of us living that life. Um, our fitness, our health routine should enhance our life, and it should be something great that we embrace. So those are my tips for you. I hope that they were really helpful. I'm going to turn you back over to Shannon. Great. Thanks, Tricia. Hey, no problem. All right, so next we're gonna move on to Brienne Westberg. She's another coach on our team and she wasn't able to make it tonight, but I'm going to share some tips that she wanted to share with you. Um, so just to give you her story, so you can see her before and after picture on the left. Um, she was a busy mom. She has two little boys and um, she wanted to lose the weight after her second baby. So she was struggling um, with confidence. She was struggling with feeling overweight and just wanting to feel good again. And so um, she started on her journey in last spring, and she wanted to lose. Um, she wanted to lose just over twenty pounds, and she wanted to someday run a half marathon. And so I had the pleasure of working with her, which was so awesome. Um, we live here locally. We're both in Arizona, and so. I met her in person and we were able to um, work together. So she lost 23 pounds um, to get to her goal weight and she looks incredible. And then she didn't just someday run the half marathon, she did run the half marathon. And not only just run it, but she ran it in a great time and she didn't stop the whole way. We were able to run it together and I can't even tell you um, the feeling that we felt as we were running across that finish line, just a sense of accomplishment. It was an amazing journey to, to watch her go through her transformation inside and out, and then to run across that finish line and to reach that big dream goal that she wanted to run a half marathon. So it was it was incredible. So her, um, her tip for you tonight is to be consistently okay with your choices. So a lot of times um, we are really hard on ourselves, especially as women. Guys aren't as hard, a, hard on themselves, but women especially. Um, you try to be perfect at everything, and when you're not perfect, then you're really hard on yourself. So if you're continually on and off the wagon, people say, or you know, on and off a diet, people also say that as well. Um, but... Uh, when you're on and off trying to be perfect and then not perfect, then then you don't see as good of results. But if you are consistently okay and consistently uh, moving forward, uh, making healthy choices, doing your workouts and eating healthy, but you know once in a while you have a treat or once in a while uh, you miss your workout, but you're just consistently okay in the long term, you'll get much better results than if you keep going on and off. Um, off your program. So I thought that was a great tip that she shared with, with us tonight. All right, so I'm next. I am Shannon Galladay, and this is my before and after picture. I really struggled with my weight gain during my pregnancy, and it was really hard for me because I was a gymnast, dancer, cheerleader growing up. Um, I was always athletic and in shape, ran a lot of races, and then, so to see uh, 199 pounds on the scale the day my daughter was born, um, it just was really hard for me. When I came home from the hospital, I was still uh, 188 pounds, and I just couldn't believe it. I didn't know how to lose weight. I'd never gained that much weight before. I'm five foot four, and I've always been in the 130 range. So it was really struggle. It was a really big struggle for me. I was excited to be a mom. I was excited to um, have my new baby, but at the same time, I kind of went into some depression and just really struggled for a while. I remember one time I was just holding my baby, looking out the window, and it hit me. You know, is this how it's going to be? Um, am I going to feel like this forever just because I'm a mom? Do I? Am I going to be overweight now? Am I going to feel blah? Um, I had this feeling that I should just, you know, focus on my, my kids, um, or focus on my baby and focus on my family instead of focus on me. So I kind of put everyone ahead of myself and kind of lost myself in, in my baby. 
And so when I was w- looking out the window, just kind of having this moment, I, it re- I realized, no, I don't have to be like this forever. And I can get me back. I can get in shape again. And um, by getting myself back, I was able to be a better wife and a better mother. And I not only got down into the 130s, I got down into the 120s. So this picture on the right, I got down to 126 which is crazy because I was always like 135. That was my typical weight, even in high school. So I wasn't in the 120s. In junior high, I was in the 120s. So it was just crazy to me. And then um, the picture on the right is my current picture. Um, Just I feel more confident. I feel better about myself. And I I feel uh, just like a whole new person. So I am grateful for this journey that I've gone on and on all the support that I've had along the way. So my tips for you, tip number four is one, plan your your meals so your whole family will love, um, they will love them. So to not go on a diet, a lot of times we think we need to go on a diet and we need to eat differently than our family. Well, that's really hard to do long term. It's really hard to do um for a lifestyle. And so I really encourage you to plan meals that your whole family will love, that you can eat things with your family and you don't have to make separate meals or do two separate meals um, for dinner. So a a website that I really love that I recommend is skinnytaste.com. There's a lot of great recipes. Um, This lady puts together all these healthy recipes. There's desserts, there's crock pot recipes, Um, There's lots of great recipes and it's a free site that you can go to, but that's skinnytaste.com. I've made a lot of their recipes and I I really like them. They're not hard to make. Um, So my last tip for you is to plan ahead to get more done in less time. This tip was really helpful helpful for me, especially as a busy mom. Um, At You know, in my early days of being a mom, I was still working outside my house. Um, I had at one point I had three, had one main job, and then I had two side jobs. So I had three jobs going on and I was busy. And so when I took time to plan, I would plan every Saturday and I still do this. I plan um, my meals every Saturday. I take about uh, 20 to 30 minutes, minutes and plan all of my meals and all of my snacks for the week. So I write down the days of the week on what I'm going to eat. And then I write out a grocery list and then I go to the grocery store uh, one time per week. Um, My husband helps as well. He goes to the grocery store and helps me out with that. And then I just look at my weekly meal planner and I just follow it throughout the week. And so as the week gets busy, um, I'm able to still make healthy choices because I've planned ahead and I know what I'm eating throughout the week. I do a lot of crock pot recipes, especially when um, I have two little girls now, uh, four and two. And when they were really little and I was working, it was really hard to um, make dinners and have things ready for my family. And so I started getting in the habit of crock pot meals where I'd make them early in the morning or midday um, on a lunch break or something. But Um, it's really nice because then at the end of the day, there's not a rush to make dinner and I have it all set and crock pot meals are pretty, pretty easy to make. The other um, part of planning is to plan your workouts. So to schedule them on your calendar so that you know ahead of time, this is when I'm going to work out and you plan a time that you can do it consistently and that it's on your calendar and it's just, it's a done deal. So that's part of your, your schedule. So those are our top five tips. Now I want to ask you a question. So if you have, I'm going to ask you some questions. If there's um, a pen and paper handy, grab a pen and paper, and we're going to take a little quiz, and we'll see how well you do on this quiz. So there's 10 questions here, and every time I say something that is you, you want to put a tally. So we're going to see how many you get out of 10. So is this you? First, are you frustrated with your weight? Are you tired of feeling blah? Are you sick of trying diets that don't work? Do you hate going to the gym? Are you disappointed with how you look? Do you have low energy? Are you making healthy choices and you don't see results? 
Do you lack motivation? Are you not sure where to start? Do you want to be confident again? Okay, so take a second, tally up your, um, your list of how many questions that pertained to you. And what was your score? So out of 10, how many of those struck a chord with you? Or how many of those were you? So if you, I mean, if you had any of these, if any of these were you, I'd like you to evaluate where you are with your health and fitness goals, especially if you had more than four or five. It's time to evaluate and make a change. So have you tried, these are some of the traditional options. Um, have you tried a personal trainer? They range between 50 and $95 per half hour. Have you worked with a nutritionist? They're about $30 per half hour. Have you joined a boot camp? They range about $199 for five days. Have you joined a gym? They range between $20 and $120 per month. Have you tried Weight Watchers maybe for $50 per month? Now I'd like you to think about what it will cost you in the future if you don't make a change. If you continue to go down the road you're going down um, in one year, in two years, in 10 years, or further down the future, what will it cost you with these different things? First of all, with your health. Will your current health concerns be more severe? Will you develop new problems? Will you even get something as severe as a stroke, a heart attack, etc.? What about financially? Will you get more doctor bills, medications, doctor visits, hospital bills, time off work, or have to get more medication? What about emotionally? Will you struggle with your self-esteem? Will you struggle with depression, lack of motivation, or even confidence? What about physically? Will you continue to have a lack of energy, more breakdown of your body, sitting around joints, becoming immobile, being overweight, causing back issues, knee, ankle, hip issues, or just being able to enjoy your life and do what you want, go do activities, um, something, and maybe even something as simple as just going on a walk in the park. Um, do you want to be able to keep up with your kids? Um, what about socially? Not feeling comfortable in your own skin, be feeling embarrassed, not fitting into clothing, simply not fitting in with the crowd. What about airplanes? They're making the seats smaller now or going to a public restroom. We have all run into problems or downtimes in our lives, but the good news is just like the stories you've heard today, you can make a change if you want it bad enough. So our question for you is, are you ready to make a change? If you are, we would like to invite you to our Clean Slate Challenge on February 3rd. We ran this Clean Slate Challenge a couple of years ago and we are bringing it back. This was most one of the most effective challenges we've ever run. You will get one-on-one -on -one coaching. Your coach will work, um, your coach only works with three to five people per month and they're very selective on who they work with. And so if you are chosen, you will get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention. You will get support from a group that is in your same shoes, wanting the same goals that you have. You have the opportunity to win cash prizes, earn a free t-shirt, get a nutrition plan, tons of motivation, and proven results guaranteed with a money-back guarantee. These fitness programs that we're going to talk about have been used by celebrities, such as these, Ashton Kutcher, Pink, Sheryl Crow, um, even political figures like Michelle Obama and Paul Ryan, and many others. So we'd like to invite you to take this challenge. We use Beachbody programs at home, so you do not have to leave your house and go to the gym. It has a calendar 
where it will tell you every day exactly step by step what to do and how to do it. And a lot of the programs do not need equipment. You can do them from the comfort of your own home. And there's even workouts that are 30 minutes or less. So you'll know exactly what to do. You won't have to take your kids with you to the gym. You will not have to worry about weather conditions. You can do it all from your home. Um, also, part of the Beachbody Challenge comes with the support that we talked about, and it comes with the nutrition plan and nutrition supplements. So we're incorporating our Clean Slate Challenge with the Beachbody Challenge. And wait, there's bonuses. You will get a step-by-step -step plan that is just right for you from your personal coach. So your coach will talk to you on the phone and help you create a personal plan that's just right for you. You will also get a five-day exclusive recipe guide if you join by the end of January. You'll get a free bonus workout DVD for ordering from a coach that's also a $20 value. So we like we'd like to invite you to make a change. And here's a quick video um, to explain how the Beachbody Challenge works. Often when I speak, the press wants to talk about the tragedy of the day. So one reporter one day made a mistake in a room filled like this and said, the Surgeon General, what's the most pressing issue before you today? But obesity. It is destroying us from a society from within. So if you are ready for a change, if you would like to change your life and make your New Year's resolutions come true this year, we are ready to help you. Contact your coach if you'd like to join our Clean Slate Challenge that starts on February 3rd. The requirements to join are to purchase a Beachbody workout and Shakeology with, from your Team Beachbody coach. When you purchase them together, there is a savings uh, between $50 and $90.
And so you, you save by ordering to them together and you will get the best results as well. So we just have a few more minutes left. Um, please put your questions on the right hand side. There's a question box and I will answer some questions before we finish. Okay, here's the first question of the night is, um, which workout should I do? Okay, good question. It really depends on the person. There's lots of different, so it's hard to, to know without talking to you, but there's all different levels of workouts. And so from the very beginner up to the advanced athlete, it just depends on if you like cardio, weights, or dancing, if you have five pounds to lose, or if you have over 100 pounds to lose, but your workout or your coach can help you determine um, which workout is right for you. Great question. How does the coaching work? Okay, good question. So we work with people all over the United States and Canada. And so you, you work out at your house and you're going to do the nutrition and workout part at your house. And then your coach will communicate with you on the phone and also through Facebook. So we run the support groups on Facebook. We also do some online meetings where you can meet other people in the in the group. Um, we use something similar to Skype, but it's called Zoom. So you can connect with other people in the group and get to know them. Um, you'll also get a workout buddy and a support group online. So it's basically over the phone and online where you'll connect with the different people. Great, great question. Okay, question, uh, what is Shakeology? Good question. So Shakeology is a meal replacement shake. Um, you don't wanna get it confused with a protein shake. Um, it does have protein in it, but it has over 70 ingredients in it. So it includes spinach, wheatgrass, chia seed, flax seed, and lots of different superfoods as well. So it, it can replace a full meal. You could have it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Some people also have it as a snack. Um, we have one shake per day, and we eat two to every two to three hours. And so that is one of the times that you eat. And then you'll eat about five times throughout the day, small portions throughout the day, and that is one of the times. So it's not a shake diet or not anything like that. Um, we really want to help you create a lifestyle change, something that you can do forever long term and not get a quick fix. Um, how quick will I notice results? Okay, great question. So this also depends where you're at. If you have five pounds to lose, it may take you longer versus someone that has 130 pounds to lose. Um, the more weight you have to lose, the quicker results you're going to see. Um, so in the first 30 days of the program, the challenge is for 30 days and we run the challenges every month. And so you could keep joining as many challenges as you like, but you will notice results in the first 30 days. So whether it's inches lost, you'll see inches lost or muscles toned or weight loss or feeling more energized or feeling overall better, you will notice um, significant changes in the first 30 days. Um, but it just depends, you know, on where you're at with your health and fitness goals. I, I wouldn't say if you have just 50 pounds to lose, you're not going to lose all 50 pounds in the first 30 days. It will take time to, to lose all of that. Great question. Let's see. Oh, here's a good question. Okay. So if you, um, you, you want to earn your program, someone said they heard that you could earn your program, um, get part of it covered or get a discount. Great question. Yes. So we do have a get three uh, free program in place. So basically, if you find three other people who want to join the challenge and they get the same fitness program as you or higher, then you can do one of two things. First of all, you can um, the person can join through your coach and your coach can send you a check for the commission to help you pay for your program. Or you can also, um, you can join us in leading the challenge group and you can get paid directly through you if you wanted to help us 
to lead the challenge groups. And a lot of people do that if they want to get their programs paid for along the way. Um, I did that. Um, it really helped me to earn my program and to help me with my journey. I still had about 25, 30 pounds to lose when I started coaching. So you don't have to be in perfect shape. Great question. Okay, well, we are out of time tonight, but if you have any more questions, please contact the person that invited you to this webinar, or you can send um, direct questions, reply to the email of the person that sent you this webinar tonight. We hope you have a wonderful evening and that you kick this 2014 off right, making healthy choices. Have a great night, everyone, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.